Okay. Come on, come on, come on. Let's get it focused. Okay, I really wasn't planning on fishing all that much today because everything is flooded, but I brought a rod just in case. I saw something cool. And there's a ginormous school of ginormous gar right behind me. Maybe, maybe we can get a topwater bite. Maybe a topwater crawl? Would that be sufficient? I didn't come prepared at all for this. I might just throw my big goofy looking frog popper. This guy right here, he's caught quite a few bass before. I didn't come prepared for this at all, but they're there. They're out there for sure. I should probably not yell. It's probably not gonna help any. I've seen probably three or four. We're just gonna see. Slap the GoPro on. Sort of a weird way to start the video, but whatever works, I guess. By the way, check that fit out. Got the red shirt, red pants, loving it. Shadows are still doing weird things. Welcome to the life of me. All right. So I have no idea if these fish are even here still. I'm gonna guess they are because they've been hanging around for about 10 minutes. I've been watching them. This is not the right rod to be throwing this on at all. No. I also just got it hung on a dead tree. And now it's in a live tree. Great start, Bran. Oh, I broke it. What a save. Well, these fish probably aren't here anymore. Gosh dang it. Now I got a mess and a half right here. Oh my gosh. There he is. There they are. There they are. Holy cow. They are still here. And they are big. Oh my word. That is a huge fish. There's no way I'm catching him. Even if I hook him, no possible way. The thing's huge. That thing's probably 30 pounds. What am I thinking? Throwing a tiny popper with some 20 pound braid on a setup that is nowhere near rated for that kind of fish. <sighs> and this lure has honestly been through it. So if anybody can do it, it's the big papa. All right, let's try that again. Maybe try not to get it immediately stuck in a tree. Come on, fish, I know y'all are in there. I've only caught gar on lures twice, and one time I really didn't catch the fish, it just blew up on it and cut me off, and that was in the Everglades. And the other time I caught a gar on a lure was um, with my granddad years ago, and that was not on a topwater. That was just, I think it was actually a spinnerbait. A lot of fish love a topwater in the Everglades, but gar, eat that jump up, son. Come on, Gar. If I catch this thing, dude. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. What, what? That's a big bass. What the heck is going on? What the heck is going on? That is a big, nice bass. Wow. Okay. Hi, bud. You're stuck in weeds, that's always good. Oh, you're barely hooked. It's chill, 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 chill. Nice. Don't shake. <laughs> Oh, well, that's how today's going, I guess. Wow. Well, um, chunky bass. I really don't know what to say about that. That was quite the blow up there. I hope that the camera got all of it, but I was throwing where I saw the gar last and this dude absolutely smoked it. I thought he wasn't hooked that good at first, but once I got him up, he was actually hooked pretty good, thank goodness, because he got wrapped up in those weeds right there and uh that would have been the end of it if he would have been skin hooked or something like that but nice chunky dude i mean look at that gut he is a certified football Whew. man that feels good that'll get your daggum blood pumping all right dude go eat some more peace you gotta love catching a nice healthy creek bass if you've never caught creek fish just in general they all fight harder than your average like pond fish something else just blew up on the top of the water what the heck i might have stumbled upon a hot bite anyway they fight harder than your average fish just because they are um they're having to swim against the current all day every day their muscle mass is a lot more dense than pond fish so and if you don't believe me i am studying this so obviously i'm an expert just kidding 
Definitely not an expert, but that is true. If I don't learn anything else in college, I can say I at least learned why creek fish and river fish are stronger than your average fish. See if we can get anything else. Maybe this uh, top water bite is where it's at. This water in this creek is actually still a little chilly just because we haven't had super hot days in a row. We have had some hot days, but we've also had some cool nights and some cool days in between. So the water temperature is still not, it's still not super warm or not warm enough to where I would think that the fish would really be hitting top water. And that might be the only one that hits all day. I don't really know. I would love to get on a good top water bite. Little popper action. You know, I didn't even say it, but that's definitely the biggest bass I've caught this year. That's sort of sad. <laughs> What's your biggest bass this year? Oh, you know, I just haven't been out much guys, like at all. Not as much as I really want to be for sure. This next or this upcoming weekend, I'm going to be going uh, down to see my family and I'm hoping to get a lot of fishing done, or maybe not a lot, but you know, more than I've been getting done up here. <laughs> if the weather could stay like this all week, pretty warm and sunny, that would be amazing. But unfortunately, I think the next two days, actually, at least in my area of Alabama, we're getting some pretty heavy rain. It is getting close to April though. Like we're literally on April. I think we've got one or two more days until April. So you know what they say, April showers bring May flowers. We've already had enough rain this year to cover for April, I think, but you know, it's not my call. So that is exactly where that last fish hit, right there. Apparently there's no one else home, unfortunately. Oh my gosh, another one, another one. This is insane. I think that's a spotted, spotty, <laughs> spotted bass. I can't speak. Got sort of choked up there. Yeah, that's definitely a spotted. Either a spotted or an Alabama bass. Spotted bass, if you've never seen them, it's like you put scales on a football and threw some gills on there. Absolutely beautiful with the red eye. Beautiful fish. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, there's all the gar. There's all the gar. Okay, okay, okay. Sorry, Mr. Spotted Bass, you're not gonna get any more screen time. Peace out. I gotta get on these gar. Okay, hold on. One of those has to be 30 pounds. Whew. They went under that tree. They're all staying under that tree. I can see where they are now. Those are giant. Whew. It looks like they're spotted gar. I threw literally right on top of their heads and usually if you throw right on top of a gar's head, it'll either A, spook or B, bite. They just sat there. If I had like a little brim or a live bait or a cut bait, I could probably catch them easy, but I don't have that today. I didn't come prepared for 30 pound fish. I was trying to show y'all that spotted bass a little better. And they, the biggest one just came up and gulped air. Wow. I did not know that there were fish that big in this creek. There's huge bass in here, but I had no idea there were gar that big. I had no idea there were gar in here, period. I knew there were bowfin and bass. I thought that was the only predatory fish besides catfish. Oh yes, over the tree. Oh my God, dude, I have one. I was just fixing to say if I catch one from over the tree, that would be legendary. And I had one and I blew it. I bet he's still there. We're fitting to find out. I couldn't tell if that was a bass or a gar. It was pretty quick. So I feel like it was probably a bass. All right, so I'm gonna move down that way, see what's up, because I have seen one fish bust on the other side of that tree that I'm pointing at right there. So there's potential, but even if we don't catch anything, I mean, I'd say this is a pretty successful day. We have located gar, we've caught the biggest bass of this year, and we've gotten on the first consistent top water bite with four or five blow ups and two connections. So doing pretty good. We're gonna walk down and fingers crossed we can get on another chunk. Let's do it. Walk down here a little further. Then if we don't catch anything down here, I'll probably get out of here because it's getting pretty late in the afternoon and we're on a time crunch now. I gotta get some home work done. It's a beautiful day though. This spot right here looks pretty good. Skip my lure. 
you know what? One more cast. What's it gonna hurt? <sighs> no blow ups, no follows, nothing. So watch the last cast be the one that gets popped though. <laughs> That's typically how she goes. Well guys, that is going to be it for today's video. I know it wasn't a long one, it was sort of short. And I'm hoping that this might be the beginning of this bite turning back on for the summer in this creek. Because when it is on, it is on in this creek. So really excited about that. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you haven't done so already, subscribe, like the video, and leave me a comment down in the comment section below. I hope every single one of you are having a great and fantastic day and I will be seeing you on the next one. See ya.